Hey friends, and welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I am so glad you're here. Are you ready to cook? Apron's on. Okay, we are getting ready for Thanksgiving here in America. It's the last Thursday of November, and I love, love at my Thanksgiving meals the dressing, or you can call it stuffing. Stuffing, I guess, is when you cook it in the bird, and dressing is when you cook it in the oven, so... I guess. I call it both. Um, but my mom found a dressing recipe from her local grocery store, Myers, and she loves it now. And this is what she's been making for Thanksgiving. And I thought, I want to try it. I want. I love stuffings, dressings. I love them. And I love the flavor of them. And I like trying new ones. So I'm going to give this one a shot today and see, hey, maybe we'll use it for our Thanksgiving dinner coming up and it's called sausage pecan and cranberry stuffing. Now, I'm gonna be making this without the pecans just because it's not gonna go well with my kids. So we're gonna try the stuffing with a smoked chicken that my husband is cooking up on the Traeger. Derek is awesome with the smoker. And so tonight we're gonna have like a mini Thanksgiving, but without turkey, it's chicken. Okay, the ingredients you're gonna need for this are at least 12 ounces of uh, sausage. Now the recipe calls for like breakfast patties or uh, the fully cooked breakfast links but they're basically cooking it up and breaking it down so I already had a Jimmy Dean um, regular sausage in my freezer so that's what I'm using and you need about 12 ounces you're gonna need onions, chopped onions, chopped celery, fresh parsley, garlic minced you need at least 12 cups of um, breadcrumbs, like day old bread, or you can go to the store and buy some. Chicken broth, butter, eggs, salt, rub sage, dry thyme, pepper, and dried cranberries, which are in this packet here, and also pecans, but, or pecans, however you say them, but I am not using that. Okay, let me show you how to make this stuffing. Okay, over medium high heat, you're gonna add your sausage to a big skillet and you're gonna cook it for three minutes, breaking it up. Okay, when that three minutes is up, you're gonna add your celery and your onions. That's one and a half cups of chopped onion and celery. I might have just a little bit more onion. We love onion. And so we're going to cook this together for another three minutes. Okay, after that three minutes, we are going to now add two cloves of minced garlic and one half cup of chopped parsley. We're going to cook this together for two minutes until that sausage is no longer pink. Mmm, smells so good once that garlic hits it. Oh my goodness. Once that is done, we're going to turn it off and we're going to set it aside. And now we're going to work on our breadcrumb mixture. In a bowl, you're going to add 14 ounces of chicken broth, one half cup of melted butter, two eggs beaten, and for all the seasonings, you're going to add a half a teaspoon. So we have salt, black pepper, rubbed sage, dried thyme this a little mix. Then you're going to put in a really big bowl your 12 cups of bread cubes, dried bread cubes, and then we're going to pour the mixture over it and we are going to toss this together. You can fold in your one cup of dried cranberries and at this point, if you wanted the pecans, you can toast them up and you're going to put a cup of chopped pecans. But again, I'm leaving those out. And then you're going to combine your sausage mixture in with those bread cubes. And if you don't like dried cranberries, you can do what I do with my other stuffing recipe. I'll leave the link below. You can add chopped apples if you want. So good. Okay, we are going to add this to a greased 13 by 9 by 2 baking dish. And you're going to have your oven already preheated at 350 degrees. Ok, 
Okay, this is gonna bake uncovered for 40 to 45 minutes or until golden brown. And if you wanna put a meat thermometer in, just to be safe, um, it needs to read 160 degrees. And here it is, you guys. It smells so good. Okay, let's dish it up and try it out. Oh my goodness, look at this mini Thanksgiving we got going on. <laughs> well, let's give it a taste. You want a little bit of everything, the sausage, the onions, the celery. Oh my goodness, let's give it a try. Oh wow, that is so good. Mmm. And if you love pecans, you'll love it in this as well. Oh my goodness, you guys. Well, I hope you give this stuffing a shot. And if you think of anything else that you would add to it to bring out more flavor, leave it in the comments below. Well, thanks for joining me today. Give this uh, stuffing a shot. It's really yummy. Not bad. We might just have it on Thanksgiving. So thanks for joining me today. Leave, of course, your comments down below of how you make your stuffing dressing. <laughs> Tell me what you put in it, what you love. So I love hearing how other people make it. So thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Bye.